because of their sexual orientation, are LGBTQ people more likely to remain friends with their ex-partners? Many reasons exist for LGBTQ people to keep in touch with ex-partners or lovers. Important points. According to media depictions of LGBTQ relationships, lesbians and gays are more likely than heterosexuals to keep in touch with their ex-partners. Research shows that LGBTQ people are more likely than non-LGBTQ people to maintain friendships with ex-partners. LGBTQ people may find it difficult to replace the social support they get from their ex-partners, so maintaining friendships with them may be the best option. The idea that gay people are more likely than heterosexuals to stay friends with their ex-partners may be found in almost every television drama or movie featuring a significant number of LGBTQ characters. Grace observes while cooking breakfast for his ex-partner Vince, who has just told Will of his engagement in an episode of Will and Grace. It never ceases to astound me how friendly homosexual men can be with their ex-partners. No one I know is my buddy. A graphic depiction of a network of links that existed within the lesbian community was shown in the L Word's initial opening sequence, presenting a visual representation of the web of connections that existed within the lesbian community. However, just how accurate is this stereotype? Why do LGBTQ persons have a greater tendency to maintain friendships with their ex-partners following a breakup? Friendships that survive divorce Despite the common belief that the only purpose of ending a romantic relationship is to cut off all ties with the other person, some people find that former lovers may be the greatest of friends. People keep in touch with their ex-lovers for a variety of reasons. Ex-partners, for example, have a deep understanding of one another shared experiences, and inside jokes that make them ideal candidates for friendship. The idea of staying friends with an ex might seem like it's never going, to be honest or genuine to some people. Some people may feel that the offer of friendship is given to lessen the pain of breaking up, which is why they utilize cliches like, let's just be friends, while they are going through a breakup. Ex-partners may know you well, but the relationship may have ended for good reasons, so it doesn't indicate they'll be terrific friends. Is LGBTQ individuals' friendship with exes different from that of heterosexuals? LGBTQ people may be an exception to the rule of fake friendships following a romantic relationship if media depictions are correct. According to a 2017 study, those who identify as LGBTQ are more likely than heterosexuals to stay friends with their ex-partners. Even while their LGBTQ participants were more likely to have a current friendship with an ex than their heterosexual counterparts, they also reported having more of these relationships on average and over their lives than their straight peers. Why is it more common for ex-LGBT partners to become friends? It turns out that for LGBTQ people, keeping in touch with their ex-partners' emotional support, counsel, and memories is very important. LGBTQ participants were also more likely than straight counterparts to go out of their way to preserve a connection with an ex-partner, further highlighting the value put on such friendships. Platonic connections, according to the authors, may assist people to maintain their ability to seek social support and safety. For this reason, it may be more difficult or wasteful to entirely reject ex-partners without trying to develop a friendship instead of the prior romantic engagement, given that LGBTQ people generally report lower levels of social support from their social networks than heterosexual people. 
the relevance of chosen family for LGBTQ people in developing supportive networks of friends that compensate for the absence of familial support has been noted in other studies as well. Those unanswered questions. Many unsolved concerns persist, even though LGBTQ people are more likely to stay friends with their ex-partners. Is it more frequent for gay males to form these kinds of relationships than for lesbians, or is it the other way around? What is the likelihood that bisexual people will stay friends with their ex-partners, regardless of whether they are of the same or different sex? Whether or if the same-sex relationship patterns found in trans, non-binary, and other gender-diverse partnerships are replicated in gender-diverse relationships is an open question. Do people of various sexual orientations or gender identities have different reasons for keeping in touch with their ex-partners? Several elements might influence whether or not transgender people stay friends with their ex-partners when a relationship ends. Researchers at Trent University are doing a new study on friendships between ex-partners to address some of these issues. We can only hope that when more study is done, we'll find fresh solutions to some of these lingering mysteries. If you enjoyed watching this video, please share it with your friends, and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, stay safe and awesome.